I don't like what I see happening in the market right now. I don't like what I'm seeing with GameStop and all these things that are happening. The economy is not the stock market. The economy has been horrible, but the stock market has been going. I think depending what happens with what people do with their stimulus checks, what happens with real estate, but mainly what happens with this virus, because we don't know about the new variants yet. I think the economy might will be seeing what happens. Maybe interest rates will start going up, but it's just time. It's been too long. It just, this reminds me of 2000 all over again. Hi everybody, Susie Orman here, better known as the world's personal finance expert. Many people like to call me the money lady. All of you have your heads screwed on backwards. All you want is for these markets to go up and up and up. What good is that going to do you? Most of you, the only money that you have, you're investing in your 401k, in your IRA, and they should all be Roth 401ks and Roth IRAs if they're offered to you or if you're in that income bracket. And it's like, are you kidding me? That's all the money you have. What other money are you talking about? When your dollar cost averaging and you're putting money every month, which you're doing, let's say in your 401k or 403b or TSP, why do you want the markets to go up? The more the markets go up, the higher prices of what you're buying are, the less shares you buy. And you're not gonna touch this money for another 20, 30 or 40 years. You should be wishing and a praying that this had been like 2007, 2008, where the market went down, 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 and you could buy things that at nothing. And now look at them 15 years later. You can put it in the market in an index fund. You can have all different types of ETFs out there. You can have technology ETFs. You can even have Bitcoin and cryptocurrency ETFs. You can have all kinds that you can do, or now with slices of stock, which you can get at Fidelity or Schwab or T, whatever it may be, you could take stock that you want. Let's say you want a little of Amazon, you want a little of Apple, but you can't afford $3,000 a share for Amazon. Great. So buy $10 worth, $50 worth, but you do it every single month. If you're going to buy slices of stock, you have to make sure that you have at least 25 different slices for true diversification. But the sooner you begin, the more money you will have. Just don't stop, don't stop. And when these markets go down, you should be so happy because when the markets go down, your dollars buy more shares. The more shares you have, the more money you'll have 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.